your voice, your vote. Let's take a live look at the White House right now. President Obama is going to stay home today as millions of Americans head to the polls. He is not on the ballot, but this election with so much at stake is very much about him and his policies. ABC's John Carl is here. And John, this vote will shape, could even shake up the president's final two years in office. George, this vote will go a long way towards defining President Obama's last two, two years in office. And while he hasn't been on the ballot, this, this election has seemed like one all about the president. This morning, President Obama is playing a starring role in elections across the country. Obama's senator, not yours. Prior, O-B-A-M-A. -A. In state after state, Republicans have painted this election as a referendum on Barack Obama, prompting even some Democrats to run their own ads criticizing the president. I'm not Barack Obama. The administration's policies are simply wrong. Democrat Michelle Nunn in Georgia aired this ad it's to show a photo of her with President Obama is not campaign. what it seems. But what he doesn't tell you is that it was taken at an event honoring President Bush. The president recently played right into the Republican game plan. Now, I'm not on the ballot this fall, but make no mistake, these policies are on the ballot. Every single one of them. In race after race, Republican candidates have made sure everybody saw that. These policies are on the ballot. The president is unpopular nationally, but even more unpopular in states with competitive Senate races. You don't agree that the president's been considered politically toxic to many of those Democrats running in. It won't surprise you to hear that I do not agree with that assessment. <laughs> I think you'd expect him to say that, John <laughs> Carl. I don't know what else he could say, but you're over at the map right now. What are the key races you're going to be looking at tonight when we think about this control of the Senate, which hangs in the balance? Well, George, you have 16 states where you could see party control change. 13 of those are now held by Democrats. But if you want to see if Republicans get control, here are three states to watch most closely. First of all, Colorado. This is a state that went twice for Barack Obama. It's where he accepted the Democratic nomination in 2008. But as you can see, the Republican Cory Gardner has a slight edge in recent polls. He also has a slight edge in the early vote. They could win there. Then Iowa. This is the state that really gave birth to the Obama candidacy in 2008 when he beat Hillary Clinton. You have a race here that is neck and neck. If anything, you've seen some momentum on the Republican side with Joni Ernst. If the Republicans win both of those states, they will win control of the Senate. But there is a wild card here, Kansas. This is a state that is about as Republican as they get. They haven't defeated a Republican senator here since 1932. But look at this. You have an independent, uh, Orm, Greg Orman, who could win this race. And then there's an all-out bidding war because he hasn't said whether or not he would caucus with Democrats or Republicans. He could hold the balance of power on election. And on top of that, there could be runoffs in Louisiana and Georgia in December and January, which means we may not know who's going to control the Senate for a while. Uh, I think there's a very good chance that we will have no idea at the end of the night tonight who has control of the Senate. Okay, John Carl, thanks very much. Let me bring in Matt Dowd, our political analyst as well. You saw from John's piece right there how disillusioned Americans are with President Obama, how much of a, how much of a factor this was in the race. But this is a kind of a broader rejection election. Yeah, I think it's an election about how sour the country is, and it's about both parties. Neither party in the aftermath of this election is going to be embraced by the country, but the president, for the second midterm in a row for him, he can win a presidential election usually going away. For the second midterm, this is a rejection of him and his leadership because he is the Democratic Party, and the Democratic Party is likely to lose seats tonight. That's, that, that's what it's looking like right now. Let's look ahead a little bit to 2016. We have a new poll out this morning which shows uh, Hillary Clinton far more popular than her potential Republican opponents right now and and in many ways that today's midterm election is kind of the starting gun for 2016. Absolutely I think tonight it's probably going to even begin before the polls close tonight all these candidates are going to be in their rooms the potential candidates and I think the biggest question mark in this whole thing is Hillary Clinton. Democrats will pivot off her and Republicans will pivot off her. She is the candidate that is most popular right now and I think at that point is that decision she has to make is everything else falls from there the dominoes fall based on Hillary Clinton. Okay, Matt, uh, thanks so much. You're going to be here tonight. Yeah. John Carl's going to be here tonight. We're going to have our special election coverage. Our whole team for seven hours of breaking news across all our platforms. Primetime special at 10 p.m. right here on ABC. We are covering this election more deeply than ever before. And you'll be right back here with us tomorrow morning mm -hmm. with the latest as well.